Hey there, my name is Nacy Carson, and you might know me from the Life in Common or from my book, The Finch Effect, The Five Strategies to Adapt and Thrive in Your Working Life. In this free video, we're going to talk about five things you can do today, right now, to start building your professional brand. And we're also going to talk a little bit about why your brand is important to begin with. I've spent the last eight years exploring and developing strategies to help people get more out of their working lives. The truth is that if you are between the ages of 20 and 45, you spend approximately 40% of your life at work. Now if you figure that 30% of your life is spent sleeping, that really leaves only a third of your life to be doing the things you probably really want to be doing, you know, living what we all call like our real lives. So that 40% is huge. Your brand is so important because so many people come to me because they're unhappy with their careers. That means they're unhappy with 40% of their life. They seek out the life uncommon, they seek out my work because they want to get more. And that more to them can mean more money, more opportunity, more choices, more freedom, a bigger sense of purpose in their life. But whatever that more is, it all can be fixed by starting with our brands, right? That's the place I always start with people is, let's go back to the basics, let's go back to the beginning, and let's look at your brand. And of course, many people think that their brand is their skill set, or they think their brand is their sense of purpose, and really their brand is something that's a combination of, of all of those things and more. In my research, what I found is that our brands are made up of three core pieces, our mission, essentially why we're here, why we want to be doing the work that we want to do, what we feel like we have to contribute to this world, or you know what that sense is of calling. It's our presentation, it's how we're physically presenting ourselves when we go sit down for a job interview, when we talk about who we are online, when we write our resumes, and it's also our offering. So the offering is really that combination of your skill set and your experiences and kind of the sum total of those things. Our brand lives in the space between these three pieces, the space between the presentation, right, the mission, and the offering. And when I ask people to talk about their brands with me, they'll start by reading their resume off to me, or they'll talk about their experiences, or they'll give me a list of job titles, and all of that's right and not right at the same time. So before we get to the five things that you can start doing today, right now, to jumpstart your professional branding, I just wanna take a step back and talk for a few minutes about why it's important to actually work on your brand. You know, because I sort of open this up by talking generally about it. You know, your brand is good to get more out of your professional life. But what does that really mean? Here are a couple of things that I found after working with individuals or groups that have been the direct result of them developing their brands. Developing your brand gives you a strong foundation for decision making in your career. It can also help you identify and articulate what you're really worth. Developing your brand helps you compete more effectively in the job market or school programs if you're applying to graduate school. Finally, developing your brand helps you know yourself better and in turn be able to market and talk about yourself more effectively. Okay, so here's the thing. How do you actually start working on it? What are those five things that I've been teasing throughout this video? They're very simple and they're purposely simple. It's important to note that these five things are not the end-all be-all when it comes to the branding conversation. These five things are ways that you can get started right now and begin this branding journey. There's a whole lot more to do once you start. But let's talk about getting started, huh? Let's like. Let's jump into getting started first. So the first thing that I want you to think about doing is think about what your brand descriptors are. Now brand descriptors are essentially the terms that you're using to describe and kind of anchor your whole brand. I recommend people have two to three terms that they really feel like bring everything together. Think of it potentially as your SEO keywords for your brand or if you're a fan of the movie Inception, like what your totems are. So you're going to grab a hold of these terms, whether they're things like a good communicator or a team player or what have you, and you're building your brand around these core things. Now the value is that once you have these core things, you can spread them out. You'll always have them to talk about and it will help keep things consistent. 
The second thing that I want you to think about doing is asking your friends, family, coworkers, whoever you feel close to, what they see as your top three to five best strengths. Now this is advice that I know you probably hear a lot from people, but it really is valuable because I can tell you so many times what I think are my best strengths are not even what make it onto people's top three or five list for me. It's amazing what other people can see in us that we can't see in ourselves, but knowing that will help us better create a brand that's authentic to who we are and to who our market needs us to be. The third thing I want you to think about are taglines. Taglines, slogans, they're very powerful branding tools because they send a message. Now before you start thinking about your own tagline, I want you to think about taglines from products that you use regularly that really speak to you. So one that's pretty well known is my, Nike's Just Do It, right? Just do it. That means something to so many people beyond Nike. It means something about get, going out and getting things, about being ambitious, about being driven. Think about the brand slogans that mean something to you and why they're important to you. Why does that speak to you? That's a great place to start building your brand. Fourth, I want you to take some time to think about a project that you participated in where you really felt like you contributed something and you can put your finger on exactly what that is. Think about what you brought to the table, why it felt good, why you're so proud of it. Again, in these scenarios, in this analysis, it's a really great way for us to start getting our hands on what those keywords might actually be. Now the fifth and final thing might feel a little counterintuitive. The fifth thing I want you to do is I don't want you to waste your time thinking about what you can do that nobody else can do in this world. It's not about what you can do that nobody else can do. Really, it's about what perspective that you have that no one else in this world has and how does that translate to your market's needs. The thing is that activity, you know, things that we can do, I mean, unless you're like, David Blaine or some really specialized circus person, it's hard to have a skill that nobody else in the world can do. But nobody else will have the perspective that you have. That's a guarantee. Doesn't matter. Even if you're a twin, your twin does not have the same perspective on the world as you do. Okay? Nobody's been loved by your mother the way that you were loved by your mother. Nobody went to Disney World and saw the things the way that you saw them as a child. Nobody experiences the world on a day-to-day -day basis the same way that you do. Think about that lens. Think about that perspective that you have and try to leverage that. That's a great place to start building your brand. I'm passionate about people building their brands for many reasons, but perhaps the biggest reason that it's important to me is that I've seen when you have a brand that works for you, it doesn't just make your work better, it makes your working life better. And that's what getting more is all about. If you found this free video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would rate it, share it, and for more information on professional branding and so many other things, visit me and the columnists at thelifeuncommon.net.